welcome to Hey Queen Hot Tea. Ooh, Ooh yeah. Yeah. she's mm. yummy. Mm. Oh. oh, unsubstantiated. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's our weekly roundup of the hottest Hollywood shade and delicious celebrity lies. <laughs> oh my goodness, what is in the teapot today? What's Let's India? see. Ooh, oh, girl. is it Chris Kardashian getting dumped by her boyfriend? Oh, oh my God, I thought that was a real relationship. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is that <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner uh, spilling the tea on the secrets of the Kardashians? Sir, and is her there new any pussy? Secrets? Oh my goodness. <laughs> is that perhaps uh, a story that I'm not remembering? <laughs> Tom Cruise <laughs> wanting a new wife and maybe trying to reconnect with Surrey? Oh, mm, uh, disconnection is in there. Disconnection. <laughs> All right. Uh, the T is you just touched it and it wasn't hot, but now it's hot. <laughs> Scalding! <laughs> Well, uh, Julie and Brandy are on tour, speaking to the youth of America, but we have a brand new special guest stars for your delight, including the lady to my left. You know her from Dragula. You know her from Instagram, showing her tits that are tan. I'm talking about the delightful Meatball. Yeah. I'm glad you're here too, sweetie. Oh, good. Uh, you're giving me a little clown real I am a little bit of a clown today. <laughs> you were robbed. Oh, thank you. I was. I don't know who that is because she hasn't been introduced oh. yet. I'll just keep it together. Uh, and next to a meatball is another delicious, delightful meatball. It's Mr. Teddy Morgan. Spicy meatball. Oh, you are spicy. Yes. How are you, honey? Oh, I'm good. Ready uh, to spill the tea? All of the tea. Yes, darling. We were excited. taking photos before the show, and I asked Teddy to give me his best grinder profile pick in this outfit. So, can you do it again? Oh. <laughs> oh. Yes. I like, suck like, everything. like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now that's what I call mask for yeah. mask. <laughs> nothing like, nothing like a fan in your profile <laughs> pic uh, to make it work. Uh, now this lady has been eating, smoking, doing whatever it takes to, as she says, get in the mood, bitch. Oh. <laughs> it's my number one diva, Miss Lady Record. Hey, sweetheart. Hey, Queen. How are you? Let me see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm great. <laughs> <laughs> well, here, honey, I brought you some oh. uh, Petra weed mints, so your you. breath will also be good. Thank you. And you'll be oh, high as a motherfucker. Crushed up and shit. Ah, uh, well, snort it. Turn the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes, honey. They're going to be like, Lady Red's facts are even more unsubstantiated than normal. True. Uh, <laughs> <drove. laughs> and she is the diva of pornography, a DJ of life, and one of our favorite people back in the Hate Queen studio. It's our very special guest star, Miss Shishi LaRue. Yeah. Baby. You sick bitches. And I'll say it again. You were wrong. Ah. <laughs> the things you oh, did, the what things. What a wonderful. Uh, I know. I'm so honored that she said that. Well, you've done, you're a winner already just for that. God bless. Oh. All right. Well, let's spill some motherfucking tea. Yeah. Oh. It's a travesty. One of the most beautiful real relationships on television oh. is dissipating. Oh. Yes, it's true. Ooh. Corey Drunk dumps Chris. Oh. 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 <laughs> um, so uh, apparently this paid employee employer relationship is ah. over uh, uh, in real life this is the story because this is all a lie um, the relationship the story all of it but we're going to cover it as truth so what the uh, star magazine yes star buzz oh. is saying is that 
Corey is tired of like, you know, he's, his wrists are hurting because he's always trying to push the cobwebs out of Chris's pussy. He's tired of that. He's tired of always telling her to take her, her Boniva or whatever. And um, he's done with it. He's been, he's used to being wild parties. He used to be Justin Bieber's road manager. And now he's just done with it. He's done with Chris. But the story is that they're gonna continue to have to fake this relationship for television, just like all, all of Chris's other relationships, could be faked, and he'll be a paid employee pretending to still be her boyfriend. Oh, Lady Lord, Red, Lord. is this another uh, strike of the Kardashian pussy? Yeah. <laughs> you already know what happens when you get into that Kardashian pussy. It fuck up your realness. It fuck up all of that. You become fantalized. You know, everything is fantasy. Oh my goodness. I'm 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 straight. I got street cred. He don't have shit. Oh shed. Lord. If she wanted to do something, she should have did what Tony Braxton did and hired Birdman. Oh, oh yes. all right. Uh, yes. Now uh Shishi, are you a Kardashian fan? Uh you know what? I I think she looks like a busted Victoria Beckham in that uh, picture. Uh, <laughs> let's see it again. Show that picture again. She's like, uh, she's like uh, oh, 82, oh. and she, I, I don't know. Come on, easy. I just, you know what? I think she should do a big MILF porno yes. and oh. uh, research her career because that's how it all started. The Kardashians came from porn. You know what I mean? My business gave you your life! <laughs> yes. Shishi, is that an open invitation that you will direct the Kris Jenner sex tape? Oh. Well, you know, it's gotta be, you know, pretend that someone put a camera in a vase or, <laughs> or in her diamond ring. And, uh, you know, and they didn't, she didn't, she did not agree to this! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to see the Kris Jenner sex tape directed by Shishi because we like have the background of, come on! Chris, work on something. Let's say, give me a goddamn yes. squirt, bitch. Yes. Oh, can she squirt? I don't oh, know, but yes. I figured that was something that you would cheerlead on. A MILF movie where the oh. MILF squirts sounds better. Chris, can you squirt? <laughs> we'll have to oh. find out. Meatball, can you squirt? I can. Yay! Yay! You know what? <laughs> Just a porno called Meatball would sell. <laughs> wow. Let's talk. Let's. What? Okay. I want to buy a pool. A Definitely big, some jacuzzi big, scenes. Well, you could probably buy a lawn chair to go by the pool. <laughs> <laughs> yes. oh, oh, there go. Teddy, what do you think? I think the dash gash is gold. <laughs> I can't believe he's gonna dump her without getting his own show yet. Hello, you don't dump the momager unless she gives you her acumen, her showness, her everything that she knows how to do. Fuck her, get the reality show, then leave her. Um, yeah. I think he did job. get his own show. Wasn't it called Fashion Queens? Oh, no, wait, it's Fire Island. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Fire Island. You know what? All those exes, they could all, <laughs> all the exes could do a reality show together. Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine all the exes that they've had? It would be the greatest reality show. That would be. And Scott could be the host. Yes. And I the like dealer. It. And the dealer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Said me, Paul, thank you for that. You're welcome. It's veiled drug reference. Mm. <coughs> <sighs> All right, let's go on, move on to even more assholey members of the uh -oh. Kardashian family. <coughs> I'm talking about <coughs> bombshells from Caitlyn's uh. book. <laughs> uh, the bombshells of this book are. I love to brush my hair in the morning, 100 beautiful strokes. You're doing Sean and Connery. Then I like to do <laughs> What did you say? I said you're doing Sean Connery. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Connery and Caitlyn have a lot in common. <laughs> That's the type of man I want. We sound the same. And I can kiss him with my nude lipstick because it's feminine. All right, um, so the, this article says no Kardashian is safe for, from Caitlyn's book. Now, I, I, I would wish that Caitlyn is really throwing all fucks to the wind yeah. and spilling all the tea yeah. on everyone, but I just can't believe that that's in her employee-employer contract with Chris. Right. Because as we know, every time Caitlyn appears on Kardashian, she's still getting that money. Mm -hmm. And you know, that Malibu house doesn't pay for itself. She's not doing inspirational speeches anymore. And you know, that's what did used to pay the bills. Yeah. 
because I don't think she's. I don't. I can, Lady Red, do you think Caitlyn is doing inspirational speeches? So Caitlyn is doing one big inspirational speech <laughs> for with Diane Sawyer. Oh right, she's about That's to it. be back on. Well, she had to pay oh. her fucking rent for the mu- for the year. You know how it is. Yeah, you I go, do. You get your every fucking year. Don't she do this? Am I right or am yeah. I wrong? Every she year, does. you bitch. You know who I'm talking to, Caitlyn. You go and you do this inspirational shit. You lie to everybody and tell them that you have become this woman who's learned so much and I just want to love everybody. No, bitch. You were the same bitch who went and got your titties and shit and turned your back on us. You didn't even give a fuck. First of all, you sent the black girl on a bus while every other bitch flew private. (laughs) What? I know, because I'm friends with the black girl. Bloop! Um, and she tea. takes an extra big bite of that chicken <laughs> wing. <laughs> that was tea. Well, the person with Ooh, most to lose girl. in this situation apparently is Chris because Chris is concerned that she is going to be made to look like the bad mommy that she is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, encouraging uh, Kylie to date yeah. Tyga, who's yeah. 900 years older than her, yeah. selling Kim sex tape, yeah. basically pimping out the whole family. Now, one could say, slow clap to yeah. standing ovation because she, you know, she's done the shit, honey. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I bet if you look at the details, Meatball, is some shady shit going on up in that family. I mean, who cares? You watch them for entertainment. It's great. It's fun. She's not going to spill any secrets about the family. There's nothing to spill. To spill. It's like all yeah. already out oh, there and hey, like the I deep, forgot. dark secrets. Well, She's not dumb enough to do that. They probably all went over it together and yeah. said, okay, yeah, say this, this and like say this win. and say that and say this. Yeah. Okay, done. Calculated. It's all publicity. Yeah, it's calculated. Totally. Chris but, wouldn't let anything like this happen. But no. what big secrets, though? Let's talk there about this. There's not. There's really he stayed not. in the house yeah. <laughs> all the time and went golfing. What's Oh, he killed somebody. I yeah. forgot about oh. that. Maybe that's the secret. Kill him, Don't please. forget the murder. <laughs> Can't forget the murder. I won't, let the murder. Oh God. God. I won't let him or her forget it. I would love it if Chris Nicole? Jenner was a man. <laughs> the secret is Chris Jenner has a dick. Oh, well, yes. uh, throw that graphic up there again. The best part of this article is the corner article oh, yes. that says, Kendall to Caitlyn, you need a makeover. <laughs> Kendall thinks Caitlyn's duds are well a dud. Uh, I don't like your frumpy 80s style, and I want you to modernize your look. Uh, Caitlyn has finally accepted her daughter's offer to give her a makeover. I mean, now, honestly, I would love to see that, actually. Caitlyn's like, I'm wearing only crop tops when I go to Coachella (laughs) this year with a nude lip. Uh, This is the best. The end quote of this is, Kendall jokes that Caitlyn looks like she just walked off the set of the Golden Girls. Uh, One wishes. Now that, she she would be a gag, okay? If, uh, Caitlyn started just doing Golden Girls looks. Zbornak, oh. Devereaux, <laughs> Nylans, and carried a bamboo bed. fucking Sophia yes. purse. Giving you a patrilla. What do y'all think, girl? I think we think that's a great idea. Yeah. 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 Da, 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 da. <laughs> Palm tree dresser. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's skip a throw. Um, okay. Um, our next story is about America's favorite or least favorite Scientologist. Uh-huh. I'm talking about Robot 5619, Mr. Tom Cruise. Because <laughs> wife number four for Tom is coming and he wants Surrey back. Now, the fucked up shit about this is oh, Tom Cruise has been able to slide through making mediocre white people type movies like Jack Reacher or whatever. I mean, Jack Reacher, what the fuck was what that? What is Jack Reacher? It was the most boring thing I'd ever seen in my life. Was, he's a, he was a military man, Lady Red, <laughs> and he's a, used to be a special ops agency, but he gave up, and now he just travels the country by bus because he doesn't want to rent a car because he doesn't want to give his personal details because he's a mysterious man. And he's still five foot nothing. Yeah, he's a <laughs> tiny, midgety, yeah. mysterious man. Anyway, it's amazing to me that Tom Cruise has gotten away with not seeing his daughter for like four years yes. without anyone calling him out on it in the mainstream press. Like, how come you've, you've disconnected 
from your daughter, you fucked up Scientologist. Yeah. The you know, child doesn't care. Other kids in longer. He has two other kids with Nicole Kidman. Mm-hmm. One of them's black. The last time he was seen was like 10 years ago mm-hmm. at a basketball game with them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's it. He don't like his kids. Well, no, Nicole those two wised kids. Up. Nicole's wised up and got the heck away from him. Yes. Full blown Completely. get away yes. from him. It's like she was the smart one. I, it's, I, ooh, you know, I, listen, all I know is that Tom likes to lay face down. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, what other alleged facts yes. have you possibly heard, Shishi? Because Spill. I would say all the people who might be possibly hired by the estate of Tom Cruise mm-hmm. perhaps have worked in a nude and penetrative capacity for listen, you. Back in the day when I first got into the business, when I when uh, you know, back in in the uh, Joey Stefano days and and uh, stuff, Damn. I. Yeah, he. It, it was lots of alleged rumors went around about a lot of stars in Hollywood. Uh, yeah, and and someone from Scientology was one of the stars at the alleged conferences and talks and negotiations <laughs> were about. So yeah, I I just know that I just heard from another boy on a set this week that. Uh, you would walk in and the person on the bed would be laying face down. Now, allegedly, that was somebody famous. And you would just walk in and do the deed and then leave. And the money would be on the dresser. Now, I mean, you know. I, uh, this tea is delicious. Yes. Good tea. Oh, there yes. is. Yes, my tea. That's Tom sounds- Cruise <laughs> is an alleged anon load taker. <laughs> Why I didn't say that. Me? I, I, I just say that, that was my own <laughs> uh, imaginary yeah, that was idea. Yeah. But I said, "Why is it he called me?" <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we'll see. Maybe after this show, that would be a real mission. Impossible. <laughs> oh, well, all right, all right, Teddy. Thank you for throwing Tom Cruise movie title in there. Oh, you got a good reference. Oh, let's set this shit out of Teddy. Teddy has been sitting there for the last three minutes, looking for a way in for his missing impossible right. joke. I you did it. Teddy. Well, now Tom and Meatball Tom is supposed to be looking for wife number four. Mm-hmm. Now, are you and Lady Rag gonna have to compete for the spot? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> you can have him. Oh. Oh, yeah. I, I wouldn't mind being his wife. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because then um, I can make him look good. You know, keep him around all the LBGT uh, events and shit. Uh-huh. You know? Go out with my little husband on my arm. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Make sure he wears adult clothing because if he wears anything near Junior, I'm going to look like a molester. Mm. So, yeah. The good thing is you can also keep him in your purse. <laughs> the, uh, and whenever. he will remain forever young with me. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know I have been the same age for a long time. I can help him. Teddy, have you seen the show The Arrangement on E? I think that this article is inspired by, by that. that show. Absolutely. Because the show on E is all about a a star who is in a cult yeah. who is hiring a new wife. And mm-hmm. I think that's brought up interest in Tom I Cruise's know. new wife. His I name is Tom, Tom Travolta, I think his name is in the show. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> it's like a fake name, Tom Travolta. <laughs> no one would oh, ever know about that. Who could that be? Who could it be? Now, <laughs> so what do you think about that? That John Travolta getting just all of a sudden leaving Scientology and then all of a sudden getting like all accused of all this stuff and then Goes back to science. Like, it yeah. all just goes away. Ah! Yeah. Ah! I know. You know. There's a reason why Travolta yeah. is still in Scientology, yeah. honey. It ain't because he likes the landing strip at the airport of Scientology. Ah! He likes the landing strip, but it's in the back. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, the ex Mrs. Tom Cruise has been getting busy lately, and it looks like she's about to step out with her D.L. Bo, who has been her man for four years, supposedly. Yeah. And the two of them have been in every back stairway, back elevator, wearing low hats, meeting in the hotel. Honey, they've been doing everything they can to keep themselves out of the public eye, but it's about to come out. Katie Holmes and Jamie Foxx have been doing it and doing yeah. it and doing it I mean, yes. now, if you've seen that Jamie Foxx dick pic, you know that 
J.D. Holmes has been getting some mad slice of dick lately. Yeah. Uh, they know what, and she's finally ready to talk about it. They were caught in this photo behind me having dinner where she looks like, now we'll zoom in on that. What's up with her hair in this photo? She looks like she's wearing a wig up too high. Like it's like her wig line is real high. It looks, like a, it looks like a took with a, yeah. a took with a ponytail coming <laughs> what on. What is going on with that? Well, apparently, uh, yeah, Katie is ready to come pub be public with Jamie Foxx. Teddy, what do you think Tom's reaction is going to be? I don't think Tom cares at all. I'm excited that they've been doing it in back alleys. I've been doing it back there for years. Yeah. That is how you do it, honey. And then she looks way smarter than that idiot she played on Dawson's Creek. But that uh, wig thing is really happening. That picture makes me laugh because she looks like when you're a server and you walk up to that customer and she's, you know, <laughs> is there gluten in the, uh, oh honey, if you don't, get over yourself if you're gluten free. That's what she looks like. She looks like a very, very impossible customer in a restaurant. I don't. Oh. I don't think about it at all. I don't like it. I'm enjoying your take on these stories today, Teddy. I like that you're like, what would the waiter <laughs> point of view? Be well, look at Katie them. Holmes. Look at them in that picture. Like he's kind of trying to cover himself with a hat. She's got that yarmulke on. I mean, <laughs> yeah. going on over there. And they're in that. What? That doesn't even look like a restaurant. It looks like someone's living room. So it's staged. Whatever. Well, she she Carry may on. think that Katie is going to come out in this new relationship, be emboldened, and the quote is, she could single-handedly take down the entire religion of Scientology. Yes. We can only fucking hope. I mean, I, listen, nothing against anyone's religion or choices or whatever, but I, that, I mean, did you watch that Leah Remini show? Yes. Oh, yes, That was it. riveting and amazing. Yes, yes. And it really shed a lot of light on it, and I just, it's it just, it's super scary. And, you know, I mean, Katie Holmes, I like black T, I like black D. <laughs> so that's good, honey. I like her. Good for her, honey. I'm with her. And Jamie Foxx is hot, and he's cute, and he's sexy, and he's funny, and he's lively. I mean, do you think she had to poke Tom to get a reaction out of him whenever they were together, if they were ever together? I, you know, I wish one of those girls would, I'm sure they all signed something. So I just wish, I wanna hear, I wanna hear yeah. the real tea yeah. on what is going on with that. It's super like culty scary. Yeah, it Which, is. you know, I mean, uh, you know, I'll join a sex cult. Mm. <laughs> I think you already have. I have, I have a leader. <laughs> <laughs> now, Lady Red, here's the gag that I am yes. hopeful, hoping for. Mm -hmm. I'm looking into the future, oh. and I'm seeing the time when Tom, okay, maybe he's reconnected with Surrey, okay. and Katie and Jamie go to do the exchange, and Surrey looks up at Jamie and says, Bye, Daddy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Surrey's black daddy and Tom left in the dust. What do you think? That'll never happen. <laughs> uh, but you know what? They have been uh, colluding for a while. They Four had, years. Yeah, they had a commencement ceremony that no one talks about. They, with them too. And if you check on the A commencement finger, ceremony? Yeah. You know, it was, they tried Com to make it an informal, like, oh, it's a little party, but it was a commencement ceremony where they vowed to each other that they would really. A commitment ceremony? It, it's, it's more of a commencement. A commencement. <laughs> We're gonna fuck on and rock your man. And be the for you. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, but they had that. And if you um, check for tattoos, you might find something else. Ooh. What does that mean? Did she mean? get a promise ring? Did she get a promise ring? I'm just she saying. She's got a promise I'm ring. Just she has a tattoo over her pussy with the arrows as property of Jamie Foxx. Oh, no, she would never do that. Why ripple that white porcelain skin? Oh, my God. <laughs> Touch it, baby. Touch all of it. Touch all of all this, this skin. Mm. <laughs> it is currently the 10th anniversary of the, the tape that ruined all of our lives. <laughs> yes, it's the 10th anniversary of Ray J and Kim sex. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Born to be Woo. famous. Kim's raunchy opus yes. opened the door for Momager Chris. 
Who's your daddy, Chloe? Oh my God, yes. they're so shady. <laughs> Slimy Scott District and the full Kardashian clan. Someone get me a Pulitzer because whoever wrote this shady article deserves to eat chicken off the shady plate. Shady uh, plate. Oh my God. <laughs> um, okay, that is so good. Oh. Who's your daddy, Chloe? Slimy Scott District and the full Kardashian clan. Now, uh, where were you, Shishi? When you first heard that there was a sex tape that would change pop culture. Well, you know what? It, it first came out Paris. Paris Hilton's sex tape came out first. Right. And, you know, that blew up. So I suppose, you know, Chris probably said to Kim, get out there and get fucked. <laughs> and film it. And, you know, listen. I love a porn tape. I love a sex tape. I love seeing Strange Dick. I just wish Hugh Jackman would fucking jack off for me. I just, you know, I... I I look at this as she's a fucking lucky bitch. He fucked her. He filmed it. She looks like who that. is that in that picture? <laughs> I know. Like Let's see that image again. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, like is that a Cynthia Lee Fontaine <laughs> as <laughs> Pretty much it what it looks, looks like. like. Sarah Abramson, yeah, exactly. T Mom, who's another whore. Yeah. Um, and uh, I just, you know, I can't stand her. No. Um, so I just, you know, um, I this yay for porno, yay for my business yes. again. Clap. They would have nothing if that bitch hadn't fucked yes. that gorgeous black man. Mm-hmm. Yes. And he's hot, you know what? And. I, he didn't become famous over it. It's always back to the girls, right, Lady Red? It is. Show that gash, show that muff, show that mon. Yes. Well, he didn't market himself right either. No. He started being a jerk right off yeah. the bat as soon as the tape came out. You got to play humble and play like you shocked and, oh my goodness, my penis is out there and it really didn't mean to offend you, Lady He was like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He didn't play it right. A no. pimp knows how to play it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ray J ain't yeah. no pimp. He's a sucker. Mm-hmm. Okay, and this was what, 12 years ago? Yeah, uh, 10, 10 years. 10, 10, years, 10 ago. years. Now, Meatball, how old were you when that 10 years ago? <laughs> oh, I was 15. Jesus. Oh, oh, and you... I did watch it. Mom. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was <laughs> an experience to behold. It was like, I don't know, that was one of the first sex tape sex tapes, besides the yeah. Paris Hilton one. That yeah, I, the two of for them. For my the, generation. Yes, the at two least. were the, were really the, well, actually, and Pamela, the first was Pamela, 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 Pamela which was hot. That was savage. Yes. They did it in the car. They did it on the boat. I know. He honked the horn of the boat with his dick. Do you remember that? Yes. She could vomit. Morgan McMichael, she's vomiting. I know y'all just think sex is the most fabulous thing. It's dirty. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, Pamela and Tommy, they look, they both look like they had just rolled in some dirt and got up wet. That's what makes it so hot. You know, I'm a girl who likes it fresh out the shower. Sorry, oh, boo. Fresh. I mean, Meatball, you're right. They did Dr. Seuss it in that. They did it in a hat. They did it with a hat. They did it on a train. They did it on a plane. They did it with the hand. They did it with the man. So I think Kim could have tried harder. I wish she would have done more during the tape. She was a dead fish. Well, wait, you know, sex tapes are supposed to be like you're not really doing anything you're just doing it. And remember the Paris Hilton tape was a lot of her in the mirror going, oh my God. <laughs> Yeah. So it was just kind of like, and neither one of them could fuck. Neither one of them could fuck. And she's definitely not fucking Kanye West, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. That's artificial insemination from another planet, bitch. Yeah. So I just, you know, I don't, I, <laughs> I, just, I just don't, I just, I, Listen, good good for her. I just, you know, I've been doing this for fucking 30 years and I'm not don't have a new house. So it's like, you know. <laughs> well, now, I have never seen the Kim Kardashian tape. So it, I, I, I have I heard it. about it and I am wondering, is there or is there not a part where she got peed on? No. 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 That's Why not that's tape. like but I was a man for years I heard that she was peed on in the tape. No. And that's not real. No. No. I thought Kim wore a yellow hanky, Teddy. <laughs> In her back left pocket. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, she didn't have sex it was with... on fire on. Who was 19. the guy that peed on girls? R. Kelly. R. Kelly. R. Kelly. R. Kelly. Okay, so she wasn't having sex with R. Kelly. She was having sex with Brandy's brother. Yes. Yeah. So Brandy, 
Uh, Brandy that's wasn't as high as she could get on like the fame pole at that time. Too. Yeah. yeah, I guess. At yeah. the time, she was just Paris's assistant. Yeah, right. Well, so, she was Paris's kinda, friend, and she wanted kinda, to be with but, the Lindsays right. and the Britneys. Yeah, and but the, Paris yeah. treated her like crap. Closet. Well, also before Kim got really famous for the sex tape and all of that, she had reportedly been sleeping around with everybody in those circles anyway. Just trying because to she didn't out what mind she anybody right. slapping the silicone to make it soft. <laughs> and her ass was definitely not. The ass it is today. She went to a pump party, bitch. Yes, girl. She went to a pump party. Don't Did she go to that one where the, the, the girl in Florida was putting motor oil in people's asses? Girl, girl, I have. I've been to a pump party before. I must admit, I've been to a pump party before because I'm curious and I'm very knowledgeable. And in order to get into shit, you got to know what the fuck you talking about. So I like to go in, you know, as an undercover, you know, like, yeah. I'm, I'm going to do oh. this, but I'm going to do this. I'm sure you were considering <laughs> a silicone <laughs> of any no, kind. I just wanted to see what they were doing. And I, I got my eyes full, you know what I mean? I, I seen I seen a, a A go to a D. Mm. I, I, right in front I, I of you? Seen, uh, yes, I seen Ooh. a, well, because it was, you know, it's like a circle. You have to do it yeah. around so oh. it evens out. And then I, I've seen people uh, bruise up immediately and reject the silicone. Oh. I have seen people take um, uh, mineral oil and try to pass it yeah. off as silicone to people. Oh, wow. I, you know, if you don't know this shit, you will get fucked up. Now, personally, I have never been pumped. What? By silicone? Uh, yeah! <laughs> so, she said it before we could. I know, we tried. <laughs> we tried. But I know that it's a really dangerous situation, and I always encourage girls, if you don't have the money, just get you some hormones and let it grow in you. Don't fuck yourself up. Yeah, there's been a couple of girls that have died recently because of that, because yeah. of getting their butts pumped. And, yeah. you know, it's not... It's that not, immediate gratification thing. Yeah. It's, we older. It, you know, we can wait for this a This boy got his chest pumped once, and he got into a limousine when I was at a thing, and his body was rejecting it. It was starting to, like, oh, pop, like, oh, uh-huh. like come out like milk. Uh-huh. Like, woo. Yeah. Woo. It was like, what's going on over here? Oh, I just got pumped, and it's not staying. And I'm yeah. like, oh. Go to a gym. Come on. Don't get yeah. silicone tits if you're a man who's not trying to look like a woman. Uh, Media yeah. gratification. Oh, my God. Well, you know what? The real winner in this whole thing is Kim Surgeon because he has done incredible yeah. work. Because <laughs> look, looking at this, I mean, <laughs> who is she? Yeah, that's who for sure. Who is she? Oh, look at her. Who is she? Look at her. <laughs> so, Kim Surgeon, bravo. Yeah. Bravo. <laughs> uh, well, thank you, everyone, for watching Hot Tea today. It has been delicious. Thank you to the beautiful clown Meatball. Yeah. yeah. If you have not checked out Meatball on the Boulet Brothers Dragula here on Hey Queen TV, get into her. Yeah. Teddy, you know I love having you around I here. I love being here, darling. Yay. You always are the most masculine of them all <laughs> at the Polo Lounge. Yes. <laughs> the gorgeous Lady Red. I like that you ended on a positive message to let young girls know silicon is not the way. It's fried chicken and hormones, right? Yes. I just want the girls to, you know, I want them to have the best life possible. And I also want all of the girls to realize that you are more valuable than you put on yourself. You know what I mean? You got to hold yourself to a high standard so when a motherfucker come try to play you, you ain't no suck about it because you already know you worth it, bitch. She's ready for her season 10 confessional already. And of course, one of our most favorite people, always ready to give us the motherfucking tea, the gorgeous, glamorous Shishi LaRue. Thank you, sweetheart. And we'll see you all next time on Hey Queen Hot Tea. Ooh.